What is the furry fandom? It's pretty much a collaboration of people that like the idea of anthropomorphic animals in art, in movies, TV shows, books, and even in real life. It's a harmless little fan base with people that are fascinated in animals. It's not dirty or anything like that, it's all perfectly normal. Don't listen to those trolls on the internet, don't watch any of those hate videos from YouTube, check Wikipedia for the facts. Furries have been popular around the world since 1980, following by a popular graphic novel, Arbelto's Anthropomorphics. A great book, by the way. Being a furry doesn't mean that you have to have a fursuit. It's all about art. Animal for art. There's categories to choose from. People range from artists that draw this type of art to people that become them. I'll get to that later. Anyway, they usually develop their own version of themselves as their favorite animal, such as a cheetah or a wolf. They call this their persona. There's about a hundred thousand of them all over the world, making this one of the smallest fan bases on the planet. To newcomers of the furry fandom, their first idea is this. Most newcomers may get the wrong idea of the furry fandom, so much so that they actually turn away and move on with their lives. Fast fact, only 19% of all furries have fursuits, while 81% are just regular normal people with regular lives. It all depends on what you do, like hugging, like drawing arts, like drawing animals, like drawing personas, the furry fandom has something for everybody that everyone can enjoy. Fursuiters are people that like to dress up as their own furry alter egos as their fursonas. To some people it's creepy, but sometimes they are cool to watch them play as they carry their character in real life. They range from a simple tails and ears to a full body suits with AC. Sounds pricey, I know. Around a thousand. They cost at least a hundred dollars at first up to a thousand bucks for a fine one. The costumes matches their personas perfectly with some help of their spec sheet. Let's talk about the spec sheet really quickly. It's a drawing that specifies one's personas in detail, angles, and colors. It's really handy if you need to redraw your furry alter ego, or if you're building a fursuit. There's two kinds of fursuits, a partial one and a full one. If you're building one as a first, I recommend a partial one. It's all depending on your persona that you chose. I for one am a furry. For two months, I've been writing books about an anthropomorphic cheetah named Flint, and I enjoyed written books with all of this character in it. Because they let me, let me just tell you, I just love cheetahs. They're cool, they're fast, and they're one of the cutest animals on the planet. It took me seven weeks till I found out what the furry is. I like the fandom. Soon I made the main character my fursona. For some strange reason, my personality sort of matches the personalities that my character had. As if I made my cheetah version of myself a reality. Today, I'm like everyone else, nothing changed about me, I have three books written, multiple drawings of cheetahs, and videos on YouTube. I became somebody in the fandom, people started to pay more attention to me, and my videos. With a fan base of only a hundred thousand people, that's more than enough for me. There are several conventions that furries attend to yearly, such as Anthrocon in Philly. Well, that's all I can say about the fandom, and trust me, never listen to the trolls on the internet. All they do is hate, hate, and hate. They're a bunch of people who just hate each other, and constantly hating the furry itself. Well, just don't listen to anybody else. The word has been said, furries are just regular people liking animals. Anthropomorphic animals to be precise. And that's pretty much it. Well, this has been uh, Pleomax HD here, signing off.